Okay, the steps one and two in that are to put the track, the wheels that go on the track, uh, and put the pipe and the square pipe in them. And so the first thing you have to do is decide which one is the left and which one is the right. So we have a picture, we blew it up a little bit so we could understand it. The right wheel, which is on the right track as you're pushing the thing down, has the, <laughs> looks like this one. The, uh, the short end is the, the front. short end is, this is going to be the front end here. And uh, so now, and then the left one, it looks similar. Just reversed. But it's reversed. And so if you look at that picture, this matches that one, and they'll have the square tube there. I couldn't figure that out myself. I had to get my son out here. Two brains are better than one. Yeah, look at the picture. So what we did, we put two bolts through there, and then we take the pipe. And this is the bracket. And then this it appears to be the same nuts. Well, there's a pair of lock nuts. You got two pairs right there. So. And, but I don't know if those are... Piers, there's four of these kind of nuts that have a blue locking mechanism in them. And I think it says in there, don't tighten them all the way. Correct. So this will be the right track going for put that direction down the track. Okay, so I'll tighten them up moderately. Yeah, it has alternate holes. I guess it shouldn't matter because they, they're just offset no matter which. They're all the way through too. Well, so. this one's a little. Well, yeah, it'll only go one way because this side's shorter. Well, one side will fit, and one side should. Yeah, take it around the other way and see if that. Yeah, see yeah, that space. So our assumption, of course, is it's got to rest on. The, Track. That's a much more natural fit. And this one, also the front of it is this side, and this is the left side when you're pushing on the thing. Alright, let's get this sort of somewhat tight. Okay, let it go. Enough so when you try to drop the saw over it, you got a little bit of ability to to uh, wobble. Uh, so this is supposed to run on this track. Let me get it over here. Push it now. That's forward for us. Here, see that bump there? I haven't tightened that end of the track up yet. Yeah, 
and there's a, a bump where that hits the quite a drop. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to make sure I get that up in place before I tighten it. Now, the next part here is if we look at our. So this was step two, and then and step one and two. Now step three <coughs> is taking these and sliding them into that. Now see that saw is laying down on the ground and so there isn't really, actually there might be room to uh, put them on there. The problem is, is once, you, once you put them in there and snug them down, you're supposed to lift this thing up and set it on the track. That's going to be hard. Oh, well, I'm going to, I, see, overhead, this is, we're in a shed, and overhead of us is the f rafters, and I am going to build right over, the, under this one, I'm going to put a couple braces in to hold this, because it's not very strong, hold it right there on either side, and then I'm going to take a rope and a pulley, and I'm going to hook it onto there and just tip, pull it up with a, it's like when I was a kid and had to pull the engine out of my uh, 37 Chev to put a new clutch in. And my dad, I said, how do I get it out? And he said, park it under a tree, put a rope, hay rope and a pulley in the tree and then unhook everything you can in the engine and then hook the tractor onto the hay rope and pull it out. There we go. And that was how it actually worked good. So I got the same theory here that I'm just going to not try to do any heavy lifting. I'm just going to... Uh, have to figure out where to uh, attach. There is supposed to be some place on the top where you can hook to. Okay. Uh, I don't know where it is. but So I'm gonna, my next stop, I'm going to stop here, is I'm going to put some braces in up to here and then put my pulley on.